I'm going to simulate the rest of Jack Eichel's career, but every single season he's going to be switching teams. The way I'm doing this is I've already simulated Jack Eichel's entire career through franchise mode. What I've done is recorded Jack Eichel's attributes before every single season. So whenever Jack Eichel joins a new team, the attributes that Jack Eichel had during that point in his career are what he's going to be playing with. Continuing Jack Eichel's career at an 89 overall, he's got 5 stars in puck skills, 5 in senses, 5 in shooting, 4 in defense, 5 in skating, and 3.5 in physical. This man's had incredibly bad luck throughout his career, unable to make the playoffs in his 8 year career so far, but we're going to change that today and try to win him a Stanley Cup. When season number one came to an end, Vegas was looking absolutely fantastic, finishing sixth in the entire league with a 40, 24, and 18 record. Maybe not as good of a record as I actually thought. Sixth in the entire league is great, but they lost 18 games in either overtime or a shootout. So now I have second thoughts about this team. But Jack Eichel, the dude's looking phenomenal. 35 goals and 58 assists from 93 points, and that's going to have him ninth in the league in scoring. In the postseason, Vegas was able to go on a bit of a run, sweeping the Anaheim Ducks in the first round and taking down Edmonton in seven games in the second. But in the conference finals, the Minnesota Wild are going to come out on top in seven games. The numbers for Jack Eichel in the postseason were a bit disappointing, only picking up 6 goals and 7 assists for 13 points in 18 games. I'm going to keep it 100, my guy. If you're going to win a Stanley Cup, I need some better numbers than that. With our very first wheel spin, Jack Eichel is going to be taking his talents to the Nashville Predators. And this Nashville Predators team could actually be pretty solid. Jack Eichel, he's going to be the first line center with Philip Forsberg and Nito Niederreiter at his side. But Nashville is actually going to disappoint me a bit, finishing 11th in the entire league with a 44-29-9 record. But then again, this team did finish with more wins than Vegas did last year, so who really knows. Although Eichel is improving after last season, it's actually a slower year for him only picking up 77 points consisting of 31 goals and 46 assists while Stuart Skinner he's going to take over in Edmonton and he's going to be tied for the most wins in the NHL with 42 and he's also going to be picking up seven shots in the process while posting a 908 save percentage and a 269 goals against. When the playoffs came around the Jack Eichel curse is going to continue as Nashville is going to be falling in the first round to the Dallas Stars in seven games and Eichel it wasn't because you didn't perform in the postseason you're still picking up six points but the team they just didn't compete. But show to Nathan McKinnon although he's not winning a Stanley Cup he's going to pick up 17 goals and 15 assists for 32 points in 23 games. With our next spin we're going to be taking a bit of a downgrade as Jack Eichel is going to be taking his talents to Vancouver. After Vancouver lost Bo Horvat, they've been looking for a guy to replace him and Jack Eichel, he can definitely fill that role. Also, before we get any further into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to pass the New York Rangers and YouTube subscribers because they took Tarasenko from me and I want to get my revenge. And if you're part of the 73% of people that aren't subbed to the channel, what are you doing? Subscribe right now, turn notifications on, and let's pass the Rangers. And it looks like he did a fantastic job of filling the role because the team's going to finish fourth in the entire league with a 48, 26, and 8 record. And Jack Eichel, a better season from you, but I'm still expecting more. 38 goals and 42 assists for 80 points you got to be averaging at least a point a game my guy come on step it up i want to see numbers like brad marchand because he's going to be picking up 114 points this season i want to see you put up brad marchand type numbers definitely don't think anyone's ever said that before but he's picking up 114 points and he's rolling right now in the postseason the matchup we had was just way too tough for us i mean honestly i don't see how any team could compete with these guys we're going to fall to the san jose sharks in seven games yeah you heard that right the san jose sharks made the playoffs like the current san jose sharks and then they're going to make it all the way to the conference finals and they're going to fall to the colorado avalanche who go on to win the stanley cup these are the current nhl rosters eichel i'm going to keep it a thousand with you five points in seven games definitely isn't enough especially since you got outscored by connor garland no disrespect to connor garland but you're that guy and he isn't it wasn't too long ago in this video where minnesota made it all the way to the stanley cup final but now it's time to add jack eichel to the team with a bit more center depth and kirill kaprizov and matt zuccarello on his side i'm expecting big things from minnesota they missed the playoffs with a 39 35 and 8 record nice at least Jack Eichel's putting up better numbers this season. 39 goals and 42 assists for 81 points. But how did you guys not make the playoffs? Like seriously, how did you not make the playoffs? This doesn't make any sense. I was going to go over the Stanley Cup final until I realized something. Tampa didn't even make the playoffs. The Tampa Bay Lightning just finished 21st in the entire league and Philly made the playoffs. Round of applause for EA Simulation. I didn't know it could be this realistic. And shout out to David Pasternak. We got to highlight something positive in this season and that's going to be him picking up 35 points on the way to a Stanley Cup. So somehow things continue to go from bad to worse as Jack Eichel, he's now going to be joining the Montreal Canadiens. If this team somehow makes the playoffs, I'll count that as a Stanley Cup because I just don't see it happening. Okay, I didn't think we would be this bad. 30, 42, and 10 and we're dead last in the entire league below Arizona and somehow Minnesota's third last. You know what we're just gonna move on jack eichel 68 points wow this season doesn't count we're just ignoring it colorado congrats on the stanley cup let's just get to next season because what just happened so although we're sticking in canada we're heading to a much better team in the calgary flames and jack eichel you're gonna have huberto and Toffoli on the first line with you just make the playoffs i really don't care we've missed the playoffs the past two seasons just make the playoffs like it shouldn't be this difficult the calgary flames and jack eichel are back in the playoff picture and they're gonna be finishing with a 43 29 and 10 record jack eichel continues to underperform as he's only picking up 76 points but the calgary 
Flames, they're going to go on a bit of a roll. They're going to win the Battle of Alberta in the first round, and then they're going to take down Winnipeg in the second round. But in the conference finals, they're going to end up falling to the Dallas Stars in seven games. That was a tough way to go out. But Jack Eichel, your best postseason performance yet. Six goals and 13 assists for 19 points. So you're getting close to the end of your peak, so you got to pick up a Stanley Cup sooner than later. Okay, Alexander Ovechkin's that guy. 22 goals, 11 assists, 33 points in 21 games. He averaged over a goal per game in the postseason. Alexander Ovechkin is him. It's been a while since Jack Eichel's visited a poverty franchise, so now it's time for him to take his talents to San Jose. They're not that big of a poverty franchise, I'm just saying that. I just highly doubt Eichel's going to be able to turn this team around. Fifth in the entire league with a 47, 29, and 6 record. The San Jose Sharks. Fifth in the entire league. I'm speechless to say the least. Eichel's going to have one of his best seasons, picking up 36 goals and 51 assists for 87 points to lead the Sharks. Well, Patrick Kane, he's going to casually pick up 63 goals this season because why not? Although San Jose was one of the best teams in the league, let's be realistic, this team is not that good. They're able to get past Calgary in the first round, but in the second, they're going to be falling to the Winnipeg Jets. But that wasn't because of a lack of production in Eichel because he's picking up 16 points in 12 games. It looks like scores are going to absolutely dominate as Matthews is going to pick up 22 goals in 23 games and he's also picking up 37 points in the process and so is Marner. If we thought things were bad in San Jose, things are about to get a lot worse. Jack Eichel, welcome to the Arizona Coyotes. All I can say is I'm sorry. You're getting close to the end of your career and now you have to go play for Arizona. Things can't really get much worse than that. To absolutely no one's surprise, Arizona's going to be missing the playoffs with a 37, 34, and 11 record. Who would have seen that one coming? And Jack Eichel, a step back into production this season. He's only picking up 73 points, but let's be fair, who did he have around him? Clayton Keller and Nick Schmaltz. That's literally it. And shout out to John Gibson. He's going to lead all goaltenders and wins with 43. So that means Anaheim was one of the best teams in the league. The Anaheim Ducks, one of the top three teams in the league. But it looks like the fantastic numbers from John Gibson aren't translated into the postseason as Anaheim's going to be falling in six games to the San Jose Sharks. This is easily Jack Eichel's best chance at a Stanley Cup. He's going to be joining the New York Rangers. Not only does he have Vladimir Tarasenko as one of his wingers, Artem Pernarin is the other. Stanley Cup or bust. Anything less than a Stanley Cup is unacceptable. As we know, the regular season means absolutely nothing. The Rangers, they're going to finish third with a 51-28-3 record. Don't care. I want a Stanley Cup. Jack Eichel, 77 points, but he's picking up a career-high 41 goals. That's great and all, but it's still not enough. Stanley Cup. Before we get to the postseason, though, I got to highlight Ovi. He's going to pick up 70 goals this season. You know, slower season from him. And Miko Randon, he's going to prove he's just not that great of a goal scorer. He's only going to pick up 63 goals. Like, come on, my guy. Put up some respectable numbers. The first two rounds for the Rangers, an absolute breeze. They're taking down Detroit in six games and then Columbus in five. But in the conference finals, they're going to fall to the eventual Stanley Cup champion, Carolina Hurricanes. This is probably Jack Eichel's last chance at a Stanley Cup and they're falling to Carolina. You hate to see it. This postseason, we definitely saw a dip in Eichel's production. He's only going to be picking up 11 points. He did score eight goals though, including two game winners. So I guess he did hold up his end of the bargain. It's time for us to leave the East Coast and we're heading all the way over to the West as Jack Eichel's going to be joining the Seattle Kraken. I think it's safe to say Seattle's been surprising a lot of people this season. Now it's time for Jack Eichel to help the cause and help them get a Stanley Cup. The Kraken can't even compete to what that Rangers team was last season. They're finishing 14th in the entire league with a 43-31-8 record. Well, Eichel's having another successful campaign, picking up 43 goals, a new career high for him. But I do want to mention one thing. The top nine scores on this team all had a negative plus minus. So that's not the best sign for the postseason when the games get tougher. Okay, I know absolutely nothing and I'm a massive fraud. The Seattle Kraken, somehow this team's going to make it all the way to the Stanley Cup final, but they're going to end up falling to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Explain to me, so far, out of all the teams that Jack Eichel's played for, how has Seattle been the most successful? You played for the Rangers last last season and you lost in the conference finals. Granted, you ended up losing to the Stanley Cup champs, but even still, when it mattered most in the postseason, Jack Eichel was showing up and he's picking up 19 points in 24 games, including six goals and 13 assists. I understand I said that Jack Eichel's best chance at the Stanley Cup was probably with the New York Rangers. I'm taking that back. We're heading over to Tampa Bay. I don't need to explain who's on this team. We're ready for a Stanley Cup. 29th in the entire league with a 35, 41, and 6 record. The Tampa Bay Lightning, after adding Jack Eichel to the team, 29th in the entire league. Eichel, what happened to you? 55 points. I know you're declining. I know you're old at this point, but bro, what happened? All mark great numbers. Wow, congrats. I don't care. Tampa somehow missed the playoffs. Boston goes on to win a Stanley Cup. Wow, congrats. Brad Marchand absolutely dominates the postseason. 29th in the entire league. The Tampa Bay Lightning, after adding Jack Eichel, 29th in the entire league. So this is Jack Eichel's final chance at a Stanley Cup, and he actually has a chance at one. He joined the Colorado Avalanche. Eichel, at this point, you're 37 years old and you're an 80 overall. This is your final season. You're on the Colorado Avalanche, and this couldn't work out more perfect for you. This is an elite team. Then again, so was Tampa, and you guys missed the playoffs. I don't even know what to say. 
just a win. Colorado finishes second in the entire league with a 55 22 and 5 record. Tampa finishes first with a 57 18 and 7 record. How? It was a bounce back season for Eichel. He's picking up 59 points and he was plus 22. He was holding it down on that second line. And Vasilevsky, 48 wins. Yeah, that's a bit of a bounce back from last season to say the least. In Jack Eichel's final postseason, with everything on the line, his final chance at a Stanley Cup, the Avs are going to fall in the first round to Nashville. I don't think Colorado's lost in the first round this entire video until now. But the second Jack Eichel joins this team, they lose in the first round. Jack Eichel, I'm sorry to say you're never winning a Stanley Cup, my guy. You're just bad luck.